Hi Aquarius, so I'm going to do your reading. We're going to see what your messages are at this time, okay? So keep in mind while you're listening to this reading that this is a general message. If you're hearing certain messages that don't resonate, don't force it, okay? I hope you guys have been doing well. We're going to go ahead and get into your messages and see what you guys have going on at this time, okay? So we have Seven Chakra here, Archangel Uriel. Okay, so at this time, you could be receiving a lot of information from the spiritual realm, okay? Maybe you've been having a lot of intense dreams, or maybe you've been seeing a lot of signs, um, messages, repeating numbers. Maybe you've been hearing certain phrases, or just, um, I just feel like at this time, there is an increase in um your spirituality at this time the messages that you've been receiving okay it kind of feels like a lot of information may be coming out at once okay let's see spirit tell me more spirit tell me thank you and then we have the thinking man and it came out with adjacent possibilities okay so i feel like you may have asked spirit for a sign or you know you've been asking um a specific question or you've been focused on something and spirit is like all right i'm gonna give you so many different solutions okay so you're getting a lot of clarity is what i'm seeing i see woman holding a heart at this time or at the bottom um i see rest and rejuvenation let's see the thinking woman okay so for some of you this could be about partnership it could be about love here man holding a coin spirit tell me about seven chakra i feel like you're just being hit with so much um <laughs> so much information so many ideas all right um if not this is coming up okay so just pay attention spirit tell me about seven chakra we have carriage a journey either physical or mental all right tell me about the thinking journey. all grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling all right so this is a very delicate process. All right, a very delicate. Tell me about the thinking man again. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Adjacent possibilities. Thank you. And then we have dog close-up pleasure with a friend and at the bottom i see caterpillar things will not always be this way a change is coming so for some of you you're in a situation currently where you don't really see or understand like how to make something happen it could be about love, it could be about work, whatever it is. It feels like it's a very delicate process. There's a lot of factors that come into place. So it's not, it's not a straight shot is what I'm seeing. You can't just go and do it or else something else will happen. You know, it's like if I go and make this call or if I go and do this or if I go this place other things are going to be affected. So it's a little bit tricky. That's why we have um, this grasshopper card here. But the good news is, is that you're being, you're being guided. Okay. You are getting information. You're getting support. All right. There's going to be somebody that helps you. Okay. Um, because something here is you're not meant to do something by yourself, okay? You may be doing a lot on your own at this time, and that's not how the situation is always going to be. There is somebody coming in for, for support or to help you get to where you need to be, all right? Spirit, tell me about Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel.
gift. Rely on your spiritual connection, your spiritual support, your intuition, your spiritual gifts. Really rely on that at this time. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Those are going to be, those are part of like your blessings or these are going to be things that you need to help you get through whatever you're going through at this time. I can't really see what this is, but um, whatever, it's, it's a unique situation is what I'm picking up on. It's not an everyday situation. Everybody's not going through this or um, it's... Everybody may not understand. I'll say it like that. Everybody may not understand what you're going through and, you know, what this really means for you. And I feel like Spirit is saying you're going to have to really rely on your intuition, your spiritual gifts, your dreams. For some of you, the stuff that you're seeing in your dreams or the visions that you may be having, you can't really talk about this to other people because they may think that you're crazy. Or they may not understand, like, what this means for you. Okay, you're somebody here that's very connected. You're very connected to the spiritual realm, all right? And so I feel like Spirit doesn't want you to ignore your intuition or the gifts that you're getting. Don't ignore that. Don't, you know, feel like it's nothing because it is. It's big, all right? You're, you're a lot more evolved than other people, okay? Thank you. Poverty is here. So the thinking man, and then we have handshake, and meeting with a stranger could be important. So whatever your situation is, it could be something, you know, as, you know, ordinary as finding a job or, you know, connecting to somebody who knows uh, of a place that's hiring. Listen to your intuition is what spirit is saying. Okay, right now it's going to be, it's going to be very important for you to listen to the spiritual guidance that you're receiving because you are being led through whatever this obstacle is. It may not seem like it or it may be very overwhelming or you may feel like you don't have everything that you need. But spirit is saying that you really do. Right now, if all you have is your intuition and not a dime to your name, listen to your intuition because that's going to help you connect to the money or it's going to help you connect to the answer that you're looking for, whatever it is for you. All right, your intuition is what's really going to, you know, guide you here. So this is, this is a gift. Your skills are your gifts, okay? This is part of your gifts. somebody here that wants to help you this is a close friend or this will become a close friend okay because we have meeting with a stranger could be important and then this person actually turns out to be a friend okay a friend that you have for a long period of time a lifetime you know you may have this person in your life for a long period of time message of concern um So I'm also seeing, like, if you're not really going through anything deep right now, like, it's just, you know, life is just, it's cool, <laughs> okay? You're not really struggling. You don't have any situations dangling in the balance or anything like that. There could be a friend, somebody around you who's going through this. So just kind of take this how it fits. Um, yeah, this, this, you know, it could be a stranger that you, that may be talking to or telling you about whatever is going on. And they happen to, you know, turn into your friend. Okay. Let's see. All right, Spirit, tell me more about Seven Chakra gifts. I have Ten of Cups here. A journey, either physical or mental. 
And then we have situations in the balance that require careful handling. Okay. See so the sun here. Five of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. So the Five of Cups, this is the situation that's in the balance. All right. There is some type of disappointment or sadness. Um, there's something heavy hanging over. The gifts or the love. There's something heavy like this. There's, it's not easy to just go after this is what I'm seeing. It's like a whole process to just get here. Or it has been a whole process just to be happy or just to have the stability that you want. I don't know. You had to overcome a lot. You had to go through a lot of your journey was long or is long. All right. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles here. Okay. I see the strength card. Yeah, you had to. This is the situation in the balance that's difficult or was difficult to overcome. But you used your. Some of your. Okay, so this is a. It could be a past what I'm talking about. You're using your gifts or you have used your gifts to overcome whatever the challenges life has been throwing your way. Okay, it could be something like that. Or a spirit is saying you need to use your gifts to overcome the challenges that you're currently in. Just kind of take it how it fits. All right. Whatever the issue is, you're already equipped to overcome it. Okay? And if you're not feeling it or if you're not, you know, aware of it, you need to take time to pay attention to your emotions. Listen to the dreams that you may have been having. All right? I feel like Spirit is giving you a lot of information and it may be overwhelming at this time. But, yeah, take one day at a time. All right? I'm also seeing that... At this time, you're being led, okay? Your intuition is guiding you to do certain things, go to certain places. You're going to be connected to um, exactly what you need, okay? So, for example, if you're going through a situation and you're struggling or you're getting, you know, like the short end of the stick, you're going to connect to somebody, okay? You're going to you're gonna be connected to somebody that's going to help you get through. This could be across, someone that lives across, you know, the globe, all right? This could be online. You could be watching a video. It could be this video that you're watching. Um, it could be some information that you read up on. You're going to get support. You're going to be guided to what you need to see, when you need to see it. So be open to that, okay? I feel like you have some type of question on your mind or inquiry. There's something that you need to get resolved and you're going to get the solution. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? So just know that you are being heard by the universe. Spirit is hearing you very clearly. And so... Listen, all right, because you're getting you're getting your answers as well, but you just have to pay attention and listen. Page of Rods, the King of Rods, yeah. So I'm seeing like um, it goes from a low flame to a big flame, like a low energy to high energy. You go from up to down or down to up like there's an increase here page of rods king of rods here maybe in the past you weren't as confident about yourself or you weren't sure that you could do this and you connect to somebody or you see something you read something and they give you all of the information or confirmation that you needed to see all right tell me more about this Yeah, so be patient with yourself. Be patient with the process. You have something on your mind. You could be trying to start a business and you're not really sure what path to take or who to talk to, who to connect to. Your intuition is going to be like one of the best things that you could have at this time to help guide you to where you need to be, okay? So there's like a strong emphasis on listen to the internal guidance that you're getting if you're feeling a certain way if you're feeling like you need to do something go somewhere 
try to listen to that because that's going to help you get those answers that you've been looking for. I see you meeting somebody or connecting to somebody who may be doing something that you're doing or that knows how to do it and this is exactly what you need, okay? This person is going to be somebody that you have in your life for a long period of time. I feel like this person is someone they want to help. You may, okay, so, okay. So this is a specific message that's coming out. You may want to send this person a letter or an email. Um, they're going to be very compelled to help you, all right? You may be wanting, because I'm seeing like a lot of different things. So just kind of take this, take the messages that apply to your situation. Some of you are going through a unique challenge all right that requires a lot of internal strength it requires you listening to the communication that you're receiving from spirit to to make certain moves okay and i see there's a specific person that you may be connected to uh like by chance or you may actually know who to reach out to okay because i see this person receiving your letter and i see them seeing it and reading it and wanting to really help you out like my, my god like let me help you let me you know connect you to this resource this is a good person spirit tell me more about that spirit. okay i'm gonna do this again spirit tell me more about that message of concern yeah so this is i'm hearing like um run to the rescue so this person wants to help you all right if you're going through some type of issue that's unique that not everybody specializes in this person here they want to help you let me shut this door she's okay blowing her nose you may have already sent the letter and this person is reading the letter okay or you need, you're going to know if this is your message. You're going to know what to do, when to do, do it, how to do it. But you have to listen to your intuition. Like, that's mandatory. Yeah, there's a, this is the problem here with that five of wands here. Or there's, there's so many, these are like all the factors, all of the issues. These are, you know, the discrepancies. These are the things that have been preventing you from, you know, receiving the outcome that you wanted or that you want spirit also wants you to know like it's not going to always be like this okay I, I see this caterpillar card you may have been going through this situation for a long time or just you know it's just taking a lot out of you and spirit wants you to know like you're on the right path keep listening to your intuition somebody's going to hear your concerns okay you may have some type of matter you know some type of um issue and you may feel like no one is listening no one is hearing you but there do not stop okay because somebody is going to get your letter or somebody's going to get your call your email i feel like you sent some communication you may you may not be sure if the person got it or you're not really clear on if it was sent to the right address the right um yeah person okay spirit what else can you share with that Yeah, that's what you're thinking. Did the person get the letter? It could be a Pisces. Because I said the same thing in a Pisces reading I did. Like, send the letter again. So you may need to send the letter again. Okay? Um, this person wants to help you. Four of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. And I see the Death card. Yeah. So, okay. Some of you have not sent the letter yet, and you need to. Maybe you, you, I don't know why, but you need to, or you, you need to ask. You need to ask. You need to let the person know. You need to ask for help. Okay, for some of you, that's, the, that's what you need to do to make these changes happen, and not just let them, you know, like, it's, I'm hearing, like, close mouth, don't get fed. So if there's an issue going on, you're not speaking on it, speak on it. If you need help with something, ask for it. Okay, open up your mouth. Okay, somebody's spending a little bit too much time, like, um, going back and forth. Should I reach out? Should I say this? Do it. That's how these changes are going to happen. Because what you're saying, somebody is, I'm looking at her face here. 
okay? And this person genu genuinely is concerned about what you're saying. So it's not like they're going to brush you off or it's not like they're going to just ignore it. Like they're taking this message, this letter, this information that you're giving them and they're taking it to heart. Okay, but for whatever reason, it kind of feels like you're not, you feel like this person won't help you or you feel like people in general don't care. I don't know what this is for you, so just take it, you know, how it fits. But somebody feels like they won't be supported if you send a, a, this letter out or this information out. You're not going to get support. But Spirit is saying, you know, that's not true. Send it out and somebody is going to hear you. This person is going to hear you, okay? Is there anything else you need the collective to know about that spirit? It's too many spirit camps. One more time. Is there anything else? Yeah. Page of Swords is here, okay? Because remember, we have um, pleasure with a close friend, okay? So this is somebody that is friendly. This is someone that may, you know, turn into a friend, okay? Um... Try not to feel like people are against you. Not everybody is out to hurt you or harm you. I see the page of swords. So I see I see you like looking at this person, wondering if I should send the letter. Or if you're not doing this collective, this is somebody that is coming towards you. So kind of take it how it fits. Somebody wants to know, will they be received? You know, like, will you get my information? Will you help me out? Will you be understanding? Somebody needs a friend here. Page of Cups here. Somebody needs support. Like, don't just shut me out. Like, I need help. All right? I don't know what kind of help. I don't know what you do for a living or, you know, who this person is for you. But somebody is coming towards you for help or you're going towards somebody else. So, see how it fits, okay? Yeah, King of Cups here. and the, Yeah, see? King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This is a unique matter. Okay, this could be an issue with, um, surrounding finances with the Five of Pentacles here. And poverty here. Um, I'm just also seeing, like, if it's not, like, a financial issue. It's like, um... Somebody is just very closed off right now or just they, they're afraid to open up. They're afraid to share themselves with other people because of their past, what they've experienced. OK, so I see like if this is you, I see you connecting to somebody who really does care. They genuinely care about what you're saying, what you're going through. All right. The message that you're sending them, like they care. If you're asking for help, somebody cares about helping. OK, so collective i'm gonna leave this one here i really hope it was helpful thank you guys for your love and your support and i will talk to you later